Speaking of mismanaged licenses, Resident Evil is said to have a presentation at E3 that will bring the series back to its survival horror roots. It's going to bring back the spookies. Um, so yeah, so Resident Evil 7 is supposed to be a return to form for Capcom's uh, fledgling action horror adventure third person abomination. And it's going to take a step back, and it's going to bring us back to the good old days, the starry-eyed days when Resident Evil was relevant, and it felt horrifying. And camera so, angles would go into the wall. And cam... Well, yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, honestly, Code Veronica kind of... It's stuck yeah, with I, that kind of, you know, fixed camera angle, but at the same time... It work. It moved. The camera yeah. moved. So... That, you know, honestly, that wouldn't be the worst. Get rid of tank controls and boom, you're good to go. Or even go back to fucking RE4 style controls, but with the classic horror. Um, yeah, do you, I think that you remember the original Resident Evil 4 um, trailer, do, do you? Like, it was like a demo or proof of concept trailer. And, like, it was Leon in this spooky castle and, like, the the I, ghosts. I feel like that... Yeah, the ghost and like, and then the suit of armor comes to life and stuff. And yeah, I mean, that when everybody saw that, everyone was so excited. And then they released Resident Evil 4, and everybody's just kind of like, uh, this is really good. Th thank you. But, uh, uh, more spook, please. <laughs> where's, where's the sphere factor? I mean, this is kind of just, uh, action horror, not survival horror. You know, to be 100% honest with you, as excited as I am to see Resident Evil go back to the good old days, to see Resident Evil, you know, go back to where it was relevant and where it mattered, it's 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 so fucking exciting because it means we're going to have a triple A game, real honest to God triple A game that's going to reach for horror, which is just a fucking godsend. Um, and a much needed kick in the ass for Capcom. I mean, fucking listen to your fans for Christ's sake. Um, it, it took Resident Evil 6 sales for fucking Capcom to understand that. Um, but well, it's exciting because Resident Evil, um, 4 was my personal favorite. Um, probably next to Resident Evil 2. I found Resident Evil 2 to have a good sense of what it was, which was being kind of a, a, a cheesy, but at the same time, totally spooky in terms of the fucking creatures that you would fight. Um, type of, you know, game. And I mean, like they coined it, it was a survival horror game. Um, I'm personally more a fan of Resident Evil 4, not so much because it was more action-oriented, but because it got you up in close with the action, which was because of its revolutionary, let's move the camera behind his back. Over I mean, shoulder, yep. that made a hell of a difference. I mean, that spawned... A, a almost an entire like way to present third person games. I mean, you name it, they kind of took after Resident Evil 4. I mean, Gears of War did a pretty similar thing. I mean, you know, granted, Gears of War introduced um, backpacking co cover mechanics, you know, cover <laughs> shooting it, it, it brought that to the forefront. So, in that sense, it innovated in that way. But I mean, look at any, honestly, look at any, you know, I mean, Dead Space, look at. Um, I mean, even Uncharted, when you're aiming, same exact camera perspective as, you know, Resident Evil 4. I mean, it really had an impact. What was that one scary game that came out recently, or quote-unquote scary game, uh, Last, not Last of Us, but like uh, Within or... Um, the Evil uh, Within. There you go. Yeah. That was actually designed by uh, Kinji Ifune, who was the guy who, uh, he's the creator, like the, the creative director on Resident Evil. And he's actually Ooh. the guy who went, hey, for this next game that we're working on, this little known game called Resident Evil 4, why don't we put, you know, you right in the action? Why don't we put it like right in your face? He was the one who came up with that idea. Good so segue, that, JJ. That's why the Evil Within was supposed to be this monumental thing, because after Resident Evil 4, they kicked him off the project. Or I think he actually volu uh, like voluntarily left because he was like, you guys aren't even doing horror anymore. Um and then he did the evil within which was you know it's 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 mixed some people love it some people hate it but honestly i think if they're able to go back to the resident evil 4 style of stuff because if there was one thing i liked about resident evil 4 it was the amount of detail that was put into i mean every little like nook and cranny of the game like for example one of my favorite things to do and this was granted 
you know, the internet was a thing, like uh, internet guides was a thing, but it wasn't such a huge thing. You know, it wasn't like, oh, I'll just go on YouTube and look up how to do this part. It wasn't like that. It was like Um, Cheat Code Central. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It, It was fucking Cheat Code Central. So with Resident Evil 4, it introduced this really cool mechanic where like you would find these treasures, you know? And inside the treasures, there would be like little like missing like spots like there would be some like you could put something inside of the spots. Oh yes and as you go through the levels you might be lucky enough to encounter gemstones or you know something that's like oh look it's a cat's eye gem and you're like i think i have a beer stein that has missing like oval shaped holes and of course you put them you put them in the value of the item would increase and it was a mixture of, you know, that system combined with, you know, how fun the shooting was combined with the actual like upgrade system where you had this, you know, stranger, this this guy who would fucking open up his fucking deal and he had a rocket launcher that had infinite ammo on him. I mean, that shit was so fun. It was so I mean, it was so absolutely honed in and it was so familiar to Resident Evil while at the same time being so fresh. I, I just adore that. I adore that game to death. I found that Resident Evil 5 peeled back a lot of that. Like, a lot of, like, the, oh, you know, you can, you know, see the stranger and buy upgrades for your weapons. Or, you know, buy attachments. Or uh, you beat the game and you unlock, like, this weapon that you need to pay a million fucking dollars for. And you have to work your way to get it. And then you buy it. You beat the game again. There's a new infinite weapon. So fun. They kind of took that away in Resident Evil 5, and they stripped it back. And I know it was there, those, you know, uber weapons, but it just felt so... I like the Hydra, yep. It felt not... It felt different. It felt not the way that Resident Evil 4 did it. It's not that Resident Evil 4 is perfect. It's that Resident Evil 4 knew what it was. It knew what it wanted to do. And it remembered, hey, dude, these Resident Evil games, they're known for systems like this. These attachments, these, you know, like different types of guns always, you know, it's, it's fucking cool. Um, and then they introduced Sheva and the fucking, you have four item slots and it's stupid. Um, and then naturally after that, we got Resident Evil six, which was, I mean, we were, you, you could feel it. We were slowly getting closer to the point where the game was not scary and it was a pure action game. Yeah. I really wanted to like, uh, Resident Evil 6, but I mean, I I tried, and probably uh, maybe three hours in, or two hours in, something like that, I reached, like, some graveyard as Leon Kennedy, and fell in and was killed by, like, a skeleton, and I was like, oh. Well, fuck this game. (laughs) Wait, so you're saying that you've never beaten Resident Evil 4? No, I played Resident Evil 4, but Resident Evil 6 was, um more annoying than Resident Evil 4. Well, oh, are, gotcha. oh, are you are you mention are you you're hinting at the uh at the uh ways to die in Resident Evil 4, aren't you? What do you mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, walk into the mine, walk into a bear trap, get killed by the civil- by the villagers or get crushed by the rock or the troll, right? Troll? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. Big ass guy, I remember yeah. all those, but Meh. I mean, those were passable. I, I didn't mind coming back to them. But giving you no way out in Resident Evil 6, other than you just falling in and being like, oh, I better get out. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. There was nothing you could do to, to survive that. Maybe if you were really good, you could dodge out and then climb up. But I think that you get pulled in, and I don't. I never really looked to see if that was a cinematic thing. Or if it was you, like, oh, you could have made it if you were good enough, but I never really tried because I was like, oh, well, fuck this. I mean, you know, all in all, I I'm, I just really think it's important that they go back to that survival horror route, and I'm really glad that they're listening to their fans because the bottom line is both critically and both fan rece- uh, reception-wise, you know, their survival horror, their scary roots is really what sold people all those years ago. And I understand catering to the, uh, as they put it, quote unquote, the Call of Duty audience. Uh. It doesn't work because the Call of Duty audience is playing Call of Duty. Sorry, there's, I mean, I understand wanting to pump up the action, but 
that's just not the way it works. Unless, you know, they were to just randomly go, okay, well, now we're a military shooter. Um, then maybe it'll work. But Capcom, don't. I'm glad you never did that. That would that would break my heart. Don't bring back Survivor. Don't ever bring back Survivor. Oh, I don't God. even know that game. Yeah, it's a first person shooter, Resident Evil. <laughs> on like what? it was it wasn't on rails. It was on the PS one and like you walked around or, or huh. Resident Evil Dead Eye. That was a PS two game, same concept. You walk around in first person. Oh horrible games. Um yeah, don't don't ever bring that back. Um but yeah, I'm very excited to see what they have uh to show at E three and uh I'm pretty sure that once we get a little bit more information, we're definitely gonna be talking about that a lot in the coming future. I don't know if do you happen to remember the new games that are coming out, the ones that they did announce, um, the Resident Evil games. It's like the one that's really similar to Raccoon City, except uh, uh, Umbrella Corps Raccoon City, except it's multiplayer online only. You remember oh, about that? God, yeah. The, oh I, God, it was like a Japan only online what? multiplayer shooter. Yeah, uh, it was I really... don't think it was Japan only. Uh, I think no, so. Uh, it, no, it was English. Um, it was an English trailer. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that they announced it for over here and put it like Steam, PS4, and Xbox. And Steam is not big in uh, over there. So, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know when the release date was, but I remember it was last year that they showed that I saw the video. Hey!